Hey everyone, so I'm here today to do a debt snowball video. And if you watch my videos, you probably thought we were out of debt. And technically, we are. Um, this is something I've been trying to ignore and rationalize in a way, but the fact remains, there's loans out there that were for my education and I've come to the decision that I need to pay them. <laughs> Officially, these student, these student loans are not in my name. They are loans that were supposed to be paid by someone else and I was promised that my education would be paid for and that the loans would be paid for, but they weren't. And unfortunately, there's some lies and family drama behind the whole situation that honestly really only my therapist needs to know about. So if you've ever listened to the Dave Ramsey show, I would be one of those people that calls where their parents said one thing and then their parents had loans that at some point the student or me learns, oh, they're not being paid and it's hurting that person and the relationship. So I've listened to a ton of those calls and Dave Ramsey always gives them an out because legally and morally they're not responsible for the loans. And that is true in my case, but I mean, these don't affect my credit. They're not my credit score. They're not in my name. The deal originally was that I wasn't paying them. So it's a, it's a long story, but I feel like it's my problem now. And I am at a place where I'm taking responsibility for a lot of stuff in my life. Doing Whole30 and therapy has gotten me to a place where I am just taking control and stopping being a victim and that's a big deal for me since I have a, a history of abuse and actually being a victim. So I am pretty proud of myself for taking control of all these areas and I want to take control of this. So let's get started. And if you're wondering why now, it's two things. It's because of all of that, getting my life in order myself and also um, the fact that there was a $420 payment this month and that's how it came to my attention and is now getting wrapped up in our financial situation because it wasn't going to be able to be paid and that was gonna hurt someone in my family so I did not want that to happen. So needless to say, I'm gonna try to let the past be past and move forward. <laughs> I've known about these for 10 years and they've grown a ton. They are way more than they started and the interest is insane because they were not paid and it's it's just a it's something I'm ready to take control of. So, let's get started on the death snowball and see how it all shakes out. So, there are several loans. Loan 1. I'm going to just label them by number. So, loan 1 is $1,043 and then 99 cents. This one's small, it has been paid on. Loan two is 5,405 cents. Loan three is another 5,792 and 96. This one I think has had some payments made on it, but not very many and not much progress. So it's not a ton of interest like the last one. <laughs> the last one's huge and it has grown mostly because of interest. So the big one is way more than I even thought because in the last, since the last time I even knew the balance when I was ignoring it, it's grown several thousand dollars. So the last one is $31,129 and 13 cents. Oh goodness, that's a lot. But that's what happens when you ignore a debt problem. It just grows. This did not start out as $31,000. And because it was ignored and payments weren't made, it's this big scary number. And honestly, I don't I don't know how I'm going to pay it. I don't know that I'm going to pay it very quickly. I know that um I'll talk about our plan of attack in a minute. I'm going to break out this one because loan four is actually four different ones under one servicing company, but because it's such a huge number on one account, I'm actually going to tackle these first and then tackle these in like a mini snowball. So loan, 
the first one on this account is four thousand nine hundred eighty five dollars and fifty two cents and then the second one on this account is five thousand two hundred and three and 44 cents and then the third one is so this one they're all roughly the same size these all started as really small loans and then they just expanded they were like two thousand dollars or something like that they were all just really small taken out and then when they've been ignored they're a lot bigger as you can see because the interest rates were not great and they're not great I think like this one might be 8% which is insane so and the last one is the biggest of all and honestly this is I know what this is from it's from the year that I studied abroad because I didn't work enough during that time and I took out loans for more of my tuition because my scholarship did not cover that so I do feel responsible for having some of this but at the same time I was told a lot of things that didn't come true so the total number of the debt so the total debt oh goodness y'all this is gonna make me sick forty three thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars and thirteen cents Ooh, I'm trying not to panic, but that number really does make me feel sick. It feels like it's loans for education that wasn't really worth it because I've changed my career field and I don't even have a relation to the degree I got. So if you can go to school without loans, do it. Don't be dumb like me. I feel like every month that passes, our financial situation gets tighter and tighter and more stressful. Um, but I know that hiding my head in the sand and ignoring this will only let it become 50000 and then 60000 and then they'll start garnishing someone's paycheck and stressing them out, and I don't want that on them. I know that a lot of things have been wrong with this and pushed under the rug, but I feel like it's my way, it's my responsibility to take it over and figure out a way to handle the situation like an adult because... I don't want it to affect the person that they're, it's under their name and they don't deserve the hardship. So I'm going to try to do the right thing. And <laughs> I'm trying to explain it in a way that makes sense, but doesn't share too much personal and very painful information. So I guess respect the privacy, but oh my gosh, what is happening? That's a lot of money. <laughs> So I am going to write out our plan of attack because I do want to make some progress on this without feeling super overwhelmed. And I texted my husband today when this kind of all came about and told him debt is the worst and it's so true. I honestly, I don't know how to handle these things that I don't really need to pay for and I don't know how to make it work and still have a life. but also get rid of this because it feels like we don't have a ton of wiggle room and when I paid off debt before my life was so different I just worked a ton and threw all the extra money at the debt but now I don't really want to do that because I have a baby and I don't want to like I don't know this is really hard but I do want to eliminate some of these smaller debts quickly and I think what we're gonna do is pay off these first two with our emergency fund so that will still leave us some money in the emergency fund so we're not at a thousand dollars because i'm just not comfortable with that so the emergency fund i had to think of how to spell it the emergency fund will pay off the first two so it'll pay off 1043 and 99 and it will pay off the 5405 so those two will be gone and then I think what I'm going to do next is attack this one. And I'm going to attack loan three with my extra income. So as you all know, if you watched my videos about making money online, um, I do have online income and that normally isn't in our budget because it's kind of extra. So I'm going to use all of that money to attack this loan. So loan number three is five thousand seven ninety two and ninety six cents so if I have a really good month and I make 
500 and I get to keep 300 of it, I'm going to throw that 300 at the loan. And I will do monthly updates on how much is going toward this loan. So I'm not really sure how quickly this will get paid off, but I don't necessarily want to take money from our normal budget to attack this because it doesn't, it doesn't fully affect us. It does affect us, but it doesn't. It, it's hard in my head to figure this all out. <sighs> okay, so then loan number four. I am going to pay minimum payments on the $31,129.13. I'm going to pay the minimum payments until this loan is done. And then once that loan is done, I'll pay extra on smallest to largest which actually works out pretty well because this one has the smallest uh, interest rate of anything. So that is very helpful that the biggest one is growing the slowest because it is probably gonna take a while to get to that. I don't really have a timeline for this. So my goal, the main goal, what I really have to do because I don't wanna work more hours or Actually, I might have to work more hours. I don't want to get a second job, but the goal is to make more money. I mean, that's the only way that we can pay this without it pretty much destroying our normal budget or just destroying our lives. So the minimum payment on this for all these loans right now is $420. So I need to make at least that much each month to cover the minimum payment and then extra to throw at this. So I'm probably to start just going to be working more at work um, if I'm allowed because I did go to part time. So I'm not sure how comfortable they are with me adding more hours wherever I want because there's work to do, but I think they want me to have a consistent schedule, which totally makes sense. Um, so I may be making a lot more videos if you want to watch them because that's a way I can make more money. And if I have to, I actually, let me write all these things down. So I'm going to try to work more hours. I am going to make more videos because those earn us some money. And that $90 from the channel last month, that was amazing. So if I can, you know, double that, that can totally help to go to this. Um, uh, get more traffic to my blog. Which I think if I work on Pinterest, that will help because that has been sending a lot of traffic recently. And then lastly, sell stuff. We have a ton of extra stuff that we don't need. We have a ton of clothing, baby clothing, all of that, and I can sell some of that on Facebook resell and just get people to Venmo me and meet up and give it to them. That way I can earn more money to pay this minimum payment, which is a lot and honestly it doesn't fit in our budget at all, and also to attack this other loan. So that's kind of my plan of what to do to earn more money to pay this off. That's where I'm at today. I honestly feel really defeated by the whole situation. It's not the first time I felt like the rug was ripped out from under me regarding my education. And again, that's part of the larger story that I don't really want to share. But I've, I've also made plenty of mistakes ignoring the situation and not making the best choices myself. So today I'm just stopping that and moving on. And when I was originally thinking up this plan, I kind of wrote down what I feel like is my my plan here and that is accepting reality this exists and ignoring it just makes it get worse and then making more money which I, I honestly I already am trying to do this and it's going very slowly so <sighs> pay off the debt because this does not need to hang over me for the next 20 years or anyone in my family and then move on yes it sucks yes like this whole thing is ridiculous but 
I want to move on. I want it just to be done. And I want to move on. So that is it. This is the snowball and this is the plan. And I'm not going to pretend I'm excited, but we have a plan. So thanks for watching.